As kids head back to school, many teachers are preparing for the use of AI in the classroom. American Federation of Teachers President Randy Weingarten says generative AI and chat GPT is a complete game changer that has to be safeguarded and regulated. And Randy joins me now with more on how the union is addressing the issue of AI in schools. Randy, thanks for coming on. I heard you say that AI is a Thank game you. changer, but that teachers need to be coaches in that game. What do you mean by right. that? Well, look, you know, what ha AI is to kind of English what the calculator was to math. You can put together, you know, just by asking a couple of questions, you can put together a paragraph. And a lot, even a lot of my staff now uses it. Um, but, you know, we, we see the huge potential here, but there's pitfalls as well. And so... We have to learn from what has happened in the past. We regulate cars and seatbelts. We regulate um, TV, but we don't do a lot of regulation in tech itself. And we're seeing what the consequences are to kids in terms of what social media has done, um, you know, to to them in terms of the addiction to it. So let's learn both from the mistakes and from the right things to do. It's a supplement to education. It will be really, really, really powerful. But we have to deal with the privacy issues, the security issues, the disinformation issues, the accuracy issues. And a lot of that is not going to happen teacher by teacher or school district by school district. That's why you need some regulations about this. I want to unpack those issues with you in a second. But first, let's, let's talk about the positive side, because we rarely hear about that. How are right. teachers harnessing AI to help themselves and to help their students be more productive. So, you know, it's still new and ChatGPT, you know, can you know, lifted up in November and it's still pretty new, but it's very powerful. So, if you're a teacher doing a lesson plan and instead of kind of flipping through your, you know, 50 different books that you look at or, you know, for me it was like my 10 go-to books, you know, you start um uh typing in you know, uh, some uh, provision, and all of a sudden you'll get a whole bunch of, you know, in prose, uh, different things to teach. So you could say, you know, when did George, was, was George Washington the president of the United States? And all of a sudden you'd see, dit, 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 and you'd have that. Now, it's only as good as the information you have. Now, think about how you could use that in classroom. I'm a social studies teacher. You could help kids with debate. They could do um, they could do some uh, research right as you're doing it. They could use that research. They could debate with each other at that time. They could use it as long as they don't plagiarize for papers. They have to then check to make sure that the information is right. Remember the lawyer who um, used um, court cases that really weren't court cases, and that would have been malpractice. So it's not perfect, and it's only as good as the information, but you can see how it can be an incredible back office for kids and for teachers. Uh, you also touched That's why on... the misinformation issue and the security issues are so important. So let's talk about those for a second, right? In addition to equity and the ethical issues that you mentioned, uh, how do teachers work with that? Uh, what are you, t you yeah. know, instructing teachers to do in terms of being careful about the information they put into these AI and also the information you get out of it? So one of the things we are working with, you know, an entity called NewsGuard that we have had for our members, it is an accuracy in instrument. And so we're trying to see how we create, how we help people get to accuracy or fight misinformation and disinformation. But remember, we're the union. We support our members. I mean, I wish I had one one hundredth of the power that's attributed to me. I would hope that things would be a whole lot better for kids and communities. But we, but that's why the tech companies become so important. There needs to be a way to deal with misinformation and disinformation so that it is not used inaccurately. Um, people started talking about plagiarism initially. That's important, but most important is equity privacy, security, and disinformation. We can't have deep fakes. That's what I'm more worried about than almost anything else. Um, and so we need to do all these things. When we talk about equity, it can't, we have to make sure 
that the poorest of our kids have access to this, which means that there needs to be funding to make sure that the tech is available. And just like we're doing this on Zoom instead of on a little, um, you know, uh, a little phone, we need to make sure that people, that kids have that kind of availability of the tech hard, hard and soft that they need. All right, American Federation of Teachers President Randy Weingarten. Randy, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.